we met this guy we were eating dinner the other night and he literally caught what like four four or five 15 pounds Like on the edge of this grass, it could be fire. I was like, Wait. Ooh, he just got slammed. There he is, Fletch. There you go. Oh my god. Oh. There you go. Dude, come on, please. I think he's still on. Oh, get me out of here. There's a monster. Today, we're going to be fishing big swim baits for really big bass in this hidden trophy pond. In the first episode, we came out here and found out that there's some double digit bass in this hidden trophy pond. Then in episode two, we came back out, absolutely slammed the fish. If you guys wanna check out either two of those episodes, they'll be linked down below. They're freaking bangers. But if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, share this video with a friend and make sure you go check out the previous episodes. I'm out here with my boy Fletcher today and we're gonna be trying to catch some big fish on swim baits. That's the game plan, what's up man? What's going on guys? I'm excited to be back out here with Noah. Like, we've been talking about this pond all the time. We just know the potential is there to catch an absolute behemoth and the first time we came out there that like proved all the things that we were told about it Noah literally hooked up with like a for sure double digit bass like there was no question about it just monster head coming up out of the water so we're hoping that we can come out here with some giant swim baits today and really get those big fish to munch old boat right here and as you guys can tell uh the first episode it was a little tight yeah. <laughs> second episode we actually have a runway that we can back the boat in so this is a lot more convenient than the first time <laughs> i'll tell you that but let's go ahead and hop on the boat and uh see what we can do i'm so excited to be out here today the weather is beautiful uh if you guys are wondering about the conditions bluebird skies a little bit of wind but it just feels amazing it's like 65 degrees right now it is money all right boys we got our rods and we are ready to get on the boat got a couple kicking their bass combos x lose combos right here if you guys want to check them out KickingTheBass.com. I will link them down below. Right, let's go ahead and hop on the boat. Catch us a big one. There, boy. Right, what, what's the goal today, Flip? Before I even hop in the boat, like 20 pounds, 21 20, pounds. Like for, for our best five? No, for our best fish. For our best fish? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might. Yeah, I love a 20 pounder. Hey, hey. Um, the old man said there's 15 pounders, so we ain't too far off. You know what I mean? Yeah, realistic goal. I'm. I'm hoping for like one fish above seven pounds that's oh, yeah. that's my realistic goal i dude i really believe we could do it today oh, for like there's sure. no like the last couple times guys what fletcher was saying the conditions were not it today is beautiful like perfect day in the last couple of days the fishing wasn't good so maybe today it's just firing up that's that's what we're hoping for so let's go ahead and hop on this boat does this man ever not nah. <laughs> bro you better chill man <laughs> <laughs> how about went down hold on let me squibble my way back here squibble squibble dude i bet you never heard that word have you you see my snack dude got some uh, toasty peanut butter crackers some toast cheese? supposedly i am allergic to peanut butter oh my gosh <laughs> i actually went all about went head first i was supposedly i'm allergic to peanut butter bro I took an allergy test. And really? Like, yeah, but like not not like severely allergic. It's like a little bit. I'll tell you though, almonds and hazelnuts, I'm like big allergic to. I didn't know I was allergic to hazelnuts. I knew I was allergic to almonds. My point is, bro, if I stop eating peanut butter now, I'm never gonna be able to eat it. <laughs> if I give myself a little bit, keep that peanut butter immunity up, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's kind of the, the thought process, you know? Dude, life without peanut butter would You know? all right well boys we gotta get rigged up i got a thunder cricket on right now which we'll throw that here later but you know we gotta tie a big swim bait on so we're gonna look at our options see what we got and see if we can get some big ones we haven't thrown swim baits in here yet so this is like exciting man so exciting i know what i'm starting out with and that is the old mag draft i think this is going to be the move for me a good modest sized swim bait just to see if these fish are interested in them at all i mean if there's a fish in here that wants a swim bait they should definitely eat this let's go ahead and cut off this chatadonk and let's get into this i'm actually really jealous of your mag draft dude that's like <laughs> yeah. my favorite swim bait of all time 
Dude, if I'm feeling nice, I might let you throw it for like one or two casts. Dude, listen, just, just let me know. I'll be ready. You'll be ready? I'll be on the waiting list. But look at this. What do you think about this, bro? Okay. A S waiver? Uh, I'm thinking a little bit of S waiver action, guys. Ooh. Like on the edge of this grass, it could be, could be fire. Deadly, man. That slow, methodical, just kind of like S wave action. Yeah, I mean, since you're throwing the mag, I think if I throw like a glide and we start off with this S wave, very basic glide bait, nothing too, too crazy. It's a great starter glide bait if you guys aren't too big in the, you know, big swim bait fishing, which I'm really not. I mean, I swim bait fish, but I'm not like deep into it how a lot of these other guys are. Um, but I will say, Fletcher, this color is fire, dude. It's like a translucent with a gray top and it's got a little bit of sparkle on the side. And Good for the sunshine. For the sunshine, exactly. Like if it was cloudy, I'd probably go with one of these other colors. And I know we don't have too many options, but bro, that, that color I think is it. That's a 50. So we're gonna tie this S waiver on and uh, get to work. Fletcher's gonna be throwing that mag, which is gonna be interesting. I, I think uh, I think we could both get swiped by a big one, but th those mag drafts, man, I have so much fun with. That's probably my favorite swim bait. Of all time. I've just caught a lot of big fish on them. They just deliver. No, they do. They're, they're good swim baits. Me, personally, I like the 8-inch, though. So I like the big old... Big old... Meat. Yeah. That that one, though, that you got on catches a lot of fish. But I've caught, like, even some smaller ones on the 8. By small, I mean, like, 3-plus, you know. But You'd be surprised at what will eat a bait that big. <laughs> I know. I literally had, like, a 1.5-pounder eat an 8-inch swim bait one time. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like... And, and, what are they even thinking? Right? That's what I'm saying too, like, but we'll go out and we'll be fishing like 12 inch worms, bro. And like, you'll catch 10 inch bass. Oh you yeah. Know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, One time I saw Ryan, when I was with Ryan is, we made the world's longest worm by heating them up and, you know, fusing them together. It was probably five <laughs> feet long. <laughs> And he caught a he caught a how one you, pound bass on that. How do you catch a fish on a five foot worm? I don't, <laughs> I don't even, know. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> Literally, how do you even get the hook? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's uh, not insane. That's pretty wacky. But I'll tell you, you can throw this one bit a day mile. Pretty pumped about this. We just know what's in here, and like for us to not throw big swim baits yet and try them today, it's just kind of that new exciting factor by the way in the fourth episode so this is the third episode of this new trophy pond what do you guys want to see in the fourth episode let us know and we'll, and we'll definitely go film that for y'all and get back at get back with you on that but a video idea that i had i want you to leave your suggestions down below and, and, and give me your opinion on this video but i really want to film a live bluegill video out here so when i was growing up like live bluegill fishing with my granddad we would catch so many big bass and i think that's like a good way to target some of these double digit fish in this pond just free lining them yeah just just Flipping either free lining them or even putting them on a bobber where yeah. they're kind of trapped let us know if you guys want to see that we'll film that next time because i think that would just be a crazy video and i think we have a big opportunity for just a double digit how do you like to fish this mag draft the mag draft yeah i just like this slow really slow like, like very slow wait how do you have your hook i'm curious Cause I sometimes forget about this. Okay, you got it in there. Yeah. So like sometimes I would forget after not fishing one a while and I'd put the hook, I'd just put it on the magnet and I wouldn't yeah. put the hook inside of it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get it like in there. That's the best color in my opinion. Like, that's yeah, my favorite color. Just that like classic little translucent. Yeah, got that gray, gray line on it. I forgot what color they call that. Yeah, I catch big ones on beds with that thing. It pisses them off. Yeah get it nose down because it like falls nose first i feel like it kind of looks like something trying to get, <laughs> yeah, get after the red i'm telling you you throw that thing on a bed it, it just those fish go crazy especially an eight inch one so we're actually fishing a brush pile out here off of this little grass point there's been a few times where we came and, and, and we weren't really getting bites on this and then we would pull up on it and then it would be crazy a few of those days today with the sun out it might not be a bad idea to be throwing over some of these brush piles you know some of them fish might be tucked up on that that wood we're actually going to move spots we we started in this back corner we're going to move towards more of the middle of this little lake and uh, that's actually where i missed that giant there's a lot of good cover over there that some big fish can hide on i feel like it would be a good idea to you know work this bait right over that cover maybe get a big one to turn on it your just anticipation is just very high when you're throwing a bigger bait like 
or you're throwing a bait where you know when you get a bite it's gonna be quality yeah. that is just like that's just the best feeling i was like you could i mean it's not out of the question to see him push up you know what i mean Ooh, he just got slammed he's coming right at me i can't tell how big he is oh it came off dang god i got hammered dude i didn't realize there was a big boil on there i got crushed i mean i have no idea how big that fish was i mean he came flying at me that's what i'm saying no i saw the leftover boil from where he ate you how did what it feel like just one hard slide? just one just hard thump man like I never got like a good sense of how big that fish was because he ran straight at me like full speed. This never really came out. Like this was still all the way in. He might have just grabbed it and just came at, right at me. I never got like good pressure on him. Dang. Hey, we called it too. What did I tell you about that point? I, was, I, yeah. I told you if I was a ten pounder, I'd set up shop there. Literally that and that freaking shady bank there. So Fletcher, this water's not like super dirty, but it's not clear. But it has a like brown tint to it. Yeah. So look at this. I think you're gonna go with the, uh, the little trout, or you think you're gonna go with the gold? With the gold, dude. So it's the same, literally the same color or the same style as the other S waiver, except for this one's silver and this one's gold, and the water already has that brown tint yeah. to it. I feel like this gold would put off a good flash in the brown water. I don't know. I was just looking at that when the bait was coming back. I'm like, dude, if we had that that gold one and that brown flash, shoo. See, it sticks out a little more in that in that dark water. You can't tell me that's not that tall. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That was good. That color is more ideal than that silver in this color. It's been a while, guys, since we fished with some glide baits like this, but I don't, I don't know if you remember, Fletcher, the last couple times, I mean, some good five pound, like four yeah, and five pound we fish. Had some luck. Yeah. Nothing like giant, giant, like nothing over six, seven pounds, but we've, we had a lot of good four and five pound fish on them. That's probably like the last two or three times, like every time we were getting on some big ones. All right, so I switched up to a Thunder Cricket for the time being. I saw that swim bait tied on, but. We're going to throw a bunch of different baits, guys, because they aren't really turning up on the big swim baits. We're not done with them, so stay tuned, because we're going to catch one on the, them things today. But I want to throw around some other baits as well and see what we can do. And we also have this, guys. Let me show you this. So not only do we have the Thunder Cricket, which we killed them on in here, but here's another rig that we've killed it on. It's the old punch rig. So we're going to be flipping this thing around, too. I think with the sun being so high today and these fish tucked to the bottom, this is probably going to be a good bet to get a lot of bites. There's actually a lot of water under that. Yeah, it's deep. Well, this is I the it was bat right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch us start punching guys and just freaking smack them. In the second episode, this is what we did, and it was so much fun. It's crazy. Pulling those fish out of that grass is a lot of fun. I just think, you know, in the last couple of videos, we had cloudy conditions, which would have been probably more ideal for what the swim baits today, with those bass roaming then. Today, I feel like they're gonna be even positioned more up in this grass even better than they were before. So we're gonna see what we gonna get into. I just wanna maximize being out here. Maximize the bites that we get. Ow. There he is, Flip. That's a good one, dude. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. First fish. Not a bad one, dude. Let's see. I'm about to tell y'all what she is. She's either a two or a three pounder. I don't know yet. It's a nice one, though. Starting off, Fletch, that's what we needed, buddy. You got one? That's what we needed. Look at that, guys. Fletch, look at this. Oh. Look at where I got him. Right in the, right right in the, in the nose. nose. <laughs> I think a nose piercing. You talk about a perfect hook set. <laughs> if I was to measure out yeah, each side the of them, right in the middle. Yeah, no, she was right on the edge of that, that little grass patch. I was actually about to flip it, and sure enough, she came out and bit it. Here we go, guys. Not a swim bait bass, but it is a bass to start off today. I wasn't going to sit here and throw swim baits for three hours and finally get a bite. I want to get some fish for y'all. 
and then we're gonna go back to the swim bait just trying to figure out these fish figure out what they're sitting on figure out what they're doing figure out how they're biting okay. nope. log another log nest, dude fletcher is smoking them dude I... I am absolutely on fire <laughs> All these Jesus, dude. You've probably been hung up five or six times in the last 10 minutes. I mean, can't catch a break. I, you know what's funny? I'm pretty sure on either the first episode or the second one, you tied on a swim bait. And I lost <laughs> And it. did the same. <laughs> that like hooked a lot of that, so. Oh, God, I just got... Clapped. Oh, uh, that's on the spinner bit? Yeah. Go back in there. Maybe throw your crawl in there if you have it. Yeah. Not good. I saw your whole rod. Yeah, I didn't feel like a huge fish. I'll say that. Come on, guys. There you go. Oh my oh, god. Oh! <laughs> dude! He almost got in the boat. He literally <laughs> almost got in the boat. Dude. Wow. Alright, chill out, chill out, Elon over there. You don't need to oh send the fish into gosh. orbit. I mean, golly. That was how big was that fish? Three and a half, four Three, pounds? Yeah, all day. Yeah, that, that was I mean, if we can't see that with our eyes, I don't know what we can. <laughs> I mean that fish was Jeez. easily five feet out of the water. You know what's there. crazy? That's where I missed that four pounder last time. Really? Yeah, it was actually right here. I wonder if that's the same fish. It, it was like the same spot too, which is kind of crazy. Great. Wow. Yeah. What in the world? <laughs> I felt him hit yeah. it on, it, so it was the third pop, and I felt him hit it. I didn't even double check him, dude. I went up. You know why, though? That, that patch is a lot shallower. So yeah. he, he literally, the moment I, I lifted this eight foot rod, he decided <laughs> to go right out. I've been trying to pay attention, especially with this punch bar, trying to put a little pattern together. Not even a pattern, but just figuring out how they're eating it, how they're wanting it. And what, what the, that fish did there, exactly what I thought it did, it was three, Three pumps and then on the fall he ate it on that third one. Usually there's a, a theme with that. I think if you land on one's head, sometimes they'll just eat it right away. But most days, you know, sometimes they want it on the second pump, the third pump, four pumps. Kind of weird. It's a three pump jump. <laughs> that was a three pump jump. Sucks that was a good one. If it was a small one, he would have been in the boat because he would have went <laughs> a couple extra foot. <laughs> like, like that, that fish was going. Are you gonna try it after that? <laughs> yeah, we gotta give the punch bite a try. Dude, it freaking bit me again. Jeez, dude. Same way, dude. Third pump, bump. Got him. <laughs> there you go. Oh! I mean, I, yeah, I was Dang. doing the most there. Guys, at this rate, we're going to be out here all day. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time right there. <laughs> I don't know. I had a feeling he was going to bite. That, that was a smaller one. He's still two pounds. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't a big one, but he wasn't a tiny one. Respectable. I'd take him. So I was like, uh, Fletcher tried to sabotage my fish. I'm sorry, man. What dude, in I the was, world? I well, I think that eight foot rod's doing doing the work that's supposed to be done now. You know, it's crazy because the last time we came out, I was like leaning up into them and I couldn't even get them out. Now it's like a hook set and they come flying. <laughs> yeah. Those two bites that I've had, they've just flown up. It's because you anticipate them being stuck in the grass. And, and for y'all that are watching this that haven't punched before, for the people that are watching that know, they know. Like when you lean up into that fish, you got to keep that pressure and keep it tight and pull him out of that stuff. But sometimes it happens like that where you just yank up and happen to have them and Sadly, I got I got the taste of that two times in a row. I'm just glad we're getting bites. I know. This is a section here, man. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of fish here. There you go, buddy. Got him. Oh! oh I saw him come off. He was off the whole Dang. time. Dang. He was literally off the whole time. Really? Yeah, he, he was on the left. 
Uh, you get a good look at him now? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, that, that was a thick fish. Mm. I don't think he was over four. There you go. Dude, come on, please. I think he's still on. Yeah, he is. I don't want to go over this, but... Yeah, he's still on. Yeah, get me out of here. Oh, get me out of here. There's a monster. Oh, is that what I just dude, missed? that is a tank. Is that what I just I don't think it's the same one, but I got to get... Oh, you want to help me? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. a five plus. Yeah, I can help. That's my biggest fish here. Oh, Look at the brood of it. Oh! Yo! Oh! <laughs> my gosh! That's why you punch. Whoa, baby. Wow. No, I don't think that's the one you missed, but I think there was a, a group of them, you know? Yeah. Holy cow, guys. Yeah, it's a five pounder. I don't know. We're going to weigh her. What, what do you think she is? Uh, I feel like she's got to be close to five. Wow. Four. Yeah, I think. She's thick. She's got more me. of it. Yeah, she got more of a. Where's that scale that you get? Oh, guys, back there. Well, guys, that's a freaking tank. Let's flop her on the scale. I'm thinking four eight. I'm hoping she's gonna hit five, but I'm just gonna low ball it. She's more of a four than a five, though. Yeah, or more fat. of a five than a four. So oh my god. What is she? Four fourteen. Ah. Two ounces short of a five. Close. Four pounds, fourteen ounces. You know what? That's about a four eight, ain't it? Or a yeah. four nine. That's four nine. Wow. Okay, I might want to get a picture with this puppy. All right, all right. That, that is a brute. That's what we're hunting down today in a trophy pond. Wow. All right, guys, beautiful five pounder punching in grass. I wish that was one that eat our swim bait. Oh, <laughs> really? no. We're going to get on some swim bait. We're going to try it here in a little bit, but if we're going to catch five pounders punching, we might need to punch for a minute. I'll uh, take that all day. That's a beauty. He ain't quite five, but he's a, he's a 414. I mean, two ounces short. Thank you, baby. Dude, these fish in here are just brutes left here. Like just They're straight really freaks of nature. I've never I'm seen it. Filled out so good. They're so fat. Girthy. That's what I'm saying. Girthy. If you hook a 10 plus, I mean, it's going to be a ridiculous 10. It's not going to be like that stereotypical long body 10. It's going to no. be just a straight. It's going to be a freak. <laughs> bowling ball. All right, Fletcher, get you one. There's more in there. You had, dude, we, imagine had if we doubled up. That would have been sick. <laughs> I do think that was a different fish, though, for what I saw. The one that you hooked though was fat. Yeah, you, I was like the one I, the one I hooked felt like it had some size. Like, I just don't think that would have been the same. I'm, I don't know. It could be. I mean, I, feel I like think it'd be there's unlikely a, for a fish to bite again right after, after that. A, That's what I'm saying. A punch yank. That would have been crazy though. Double up on two freaking. I do think they were together in there. There's like a group of them just kind of roaming under the mat. Wow. That's a freaking monster. That's my biggest fish of uh, 2023. Hey, starting out with a bang. Starting out with a bang. Straight banger. I also feel like this is one of these mats that we can come back to. Yeah. And, and let it kind of reset after we hit it here. But, uh, well guys, I guess I'm not too upset about losing that, I'd say close to four pounder and then that two pounder. <laughs> that did suck, like them just yanking out. But now you guys understand why you got to keep the pressure. Fletcher, how many fish have I landed in here where I held it and went and got them? I lose most of them. Most of I them, happen yeah. to freaking have that guy, and he was the big one. So, thank God, man. That was sweet. That's that's how that's what I was talking about moments before that hook set was when you hook them, you got to keep that pressure. If I wouldn't have hook set the dog out of that fish, he would have came off. You got to keep that rod high pressure. While you're using a 7-Eleven rod as well, extra heavy, plucking these fish out of this grass. See so if he could get behind that. Got one. Yeah. Good one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's oh yeah. Coast him up, Yo. baby. That's another four, dude. Big is up in the stick stuff. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's look how he ate it. That's another big <laughs> dude. Oh look at that one, how he ate it, Flood. Keep him coming, keep him coming. Freaking. Alright. I knew we need to come back through this stuff. Yeah, this is it, dude. 
I said we go back through, we'll hit all of this, and then we'll go do something else, and then come back, let it kind of, yeah, you know, let it, it, it refresh. We'll get a weight on her. Let's let's get a a real. Let's get a guess here. I don't well, think she's quite four. I what's thought crazy as I just was at where, like in the very general vicinity of where you were. I feel like these mad fish don't want to move far. Dude, you gotta get. Yeah, you gotta be on their head. That's what I thought. About three and a quarter. Yeah. Yep, three and a quarter. I'll take it though. Pretty fish. Not the fattest in the world, but very healthy. Pretty long. Thank you, baby. Wow. <laughs> That's why I love fishing right there, guys. So much fun. By the way, if you guys are enjoying it this far into the video, hit the freaking like button. Hit the like button. Smash it, guys. Just absolutely pound that thing to pieces. I know we are uh, supposed to be catching them on a swim bait at this very moment, but I don't know if y'all can even complain. This bite's pretty <laughs> dang cool, man. Like, I, I love swim bait fishing. I love frog fishing. I love all types of like just exciting fishing like that. But to be honest, man, I don't know. This, this might be the... The, the king of the hill with excitement. It's pretty close. Some, something about this, man. Something about it. I'm not gonna lie, that was the most ideal get the fish out of the cover <laughs> yeah. I've probably ever done. You got him out quick. Yeah, no, it's like, perfect. Came right out. See, this first two, it wasn't supposed to happen that way. <laughs> they weren't supposed to shoot up like a rocket. Like that was more of the ideal land of fish. That big one was kind of stuck. All right, we just got off of that mat. I think we're gonna go throw some moving baits around. We'll throw some swim baits, throw some chatter bait. See if we can get on anything. Now that these clouds came out, honestly, they might start biting the moving baits really good. So we're gonna do that. And then whenever we feel that we want to, we'll go back to that back mat where the fish are loaded and maybe they'll replenish. All right, y'all, I'm not giving up on the S waiver, but I am gonna cut it off for this very moment. There's another bait in here that I think could be good. So we went out fishing yesterday and the fish were really slow so we either had to slow down tremendously or we had to throw something very aggressive to trigger the fish to bite and we have this mega bass bluegill you guys have seen this in a lot of these swim bait videos that we film caught a lot of big fish on it it's a killer bait this is something you can work really fast and has a lot of wobbles so this might be able to trigger this fish to bite you know we've had three bites on the swim baits but i feel like if we had this on they would commit a little harder to it I'm gonna tie this puppy on and give it a shot. I might be able to entice one. I don't think today's ideal for this wind bait. I definitely think we can get them on it. It's just, it takes time. I think I'm gonna get one on this bluegill, dude. See, I can just burn, I can burn it. And I feel like if it goes past the angry one's head, he'll, yeah, I could see that. Especially, yeah, look at that, see? He don't have a choice there. He's either got to go for it or not, you know. Make it, make a decision. Yep, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna do it right here. One of us are gonna get hit on this grass patch. I know, I feel that too. How you feel about this? I'll give it a couple more minutes and so we just do our thing we're back at it we tried the swim bait for a while we tried the chatter donk for a while i don't know what it is with that they're just not it's just one of those days i mean they're not eating it so when that happens and that's why we're continuing on with this video when something like that happens you just got to adjust and and this is what we're doing now we adjusted and, and guess what caught some freaking tanks so we're going to continue to adjust continue to punch show them what they want to eat. Am I right or am I right? Right. I, mean, I know there's some more over in this area. So hold on, Fletch. We're going to get them. Actually make some bite, dude. No. Ooh. Is that in my skin? Be careful. I'll let you deal with the, the aftermath. Shoot, I ain't worried about that. Let's thank God that, that puppy didn't get my back. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say, I didn't really feel it if it did. I mean, it skimmed me a little bit, but it wasn't like, you know. Did you have a fish bite on that? No, I, was, I thought I was stuck on that big tree and I like freaked out. I was like, I cannot lose this weight. Type, type thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the 
they fight back. Jeez, man. I mean, look at that, dude. Look at oh, that. That is, I don't even want to begin to deal with that. That's just going to be cut. I'm yeah, just, you I'm need just, to cut that. I'm just going to do that. You want to switch with me? Yeah, we can switch. I feel like that might take you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's crazy. They were stacked in that back patch. I know. So crazy how you can see the everything shift. Well, we talked about that right at the beginning. It's like, yep. you go down for 30 minutes, you don't get a dang bite, and then so, boom, boom, boom. Like, all the action can happen like that. That's how it is, man. No, I, I really think that's what it is. So, guys, what we're talking about is like when we came that first punching video, cloudy out, and we were catching them, you know, just right where we we're punching on the edge. Now that it's super sunny, we're thinking that these fish might have just got way back in this thick stuff because we can't get through that like all that orange grass or not orange like yellowish looking grass is so there's one is that a good one dude i don't know he feels giant he feels big i don't know Ooh, it is a good one it's three something speaking of the devil there's one on the edge <laughs> <Fine. laughs> as we were just talking about it and then it happens when the clouds come out yep so weird that's what I'm saying. When the sun's out, it might, it might push way up in there. Look at that one. Oh, God. <gasps> He's got a bluegill in this throat. Really? Yep. <laughs> he literally out. Look at the freaking belly, dude. These fish are just. They're eating. I mean. They're just insane. Apparently there's plenty of snack on them. Look at that. Look in his mouth. Oh, yeah. I see that. See the, see the tail down there, guys? <laughs> He's still pretty... hungry. I'm going to weigh him. Let me see that scale by you. There you go. What you think? Like three and a half. Three something. I don't know. She just. She, her belly's so fat. Her. She could be bigger than three and a half. I don't know. She's three. Three on the money. I thought she'd be a little bigger with that freaking gut. I mean, look at that gut. You, oh, she about to pop. I mean, on the video, you probably can't tell how fat they are. You ever do that? Thought you go back and they look like skinnier yeah. than they are, and you're like, I know what I saw. Beautiful fish, though. I've only got three on the punch rig. I hooked two others, and they came off. You know, one of them was like upwards close to three and a half four pounds other one is probably two what i'm assuming maybe a little smaller but the three that i've caught are all above three pounds and then that five pounder so like the size is there with what we're doing oh, without a doubt the size is there i think if you just do this enough you're bound to come across one of these megas that's what, that's what i'm saying i mean you know that there's an eight nine ten pounder 15 pounder dude just something i wouldn't even <laughs> If we punched a 15 pounder Fletcher, I don't even know what I would do with myself. <laughs> Imagine what that would feel like. Dude, it would feel like you're on a tree. Like it wouldn't even feel like <laughs> you have one, you know what I mean? I would probably think I'm snagged. That's what I'm saying. You'd be like, oh, I got a bucket of grass, you know? Until yeah. you feel that head go thump, thump. That's probably like the scariest bite to hook a 15 pounder on because they could come off so easily. in a heartbeat. I feel like it's probably the easiest technique to lose fish on. It is. Definitely up there. Between my starvation and absolute destruction of gnats and no <laughs> no swim bait fish. <laughs> I know I'm I'm my I'm losing it too, bro. Quickly. Yeah, I'm I'm losing it. Anybody watching right now, I'm sure most of y'all know that the gnats that you I don't know, maybe a lot of people don't. We're in South Carolina right now. <laughs> but South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, anywhere by the coast, you, you guys know. <laughs> the gnats get bad. No seams. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm, I don't know what just made it, but it, it turned, they're turning up. Yeah. Guys, I freaking hook one the moment I turn my GoPro off. I don't know if he's big. I don't think so. I mean, I literally cut my GoPro to cut the clip. Fletcher saw it. Yeah. It was money timing. I like pressed the button and he was on there. Yeah, he's tiny, dude. <laughs> hey, I'll take him though. Better than nothing. I caught many on a moving bait today, but still something. Get you one over here, Fletcher. There might be a couple. There might be a little school of them up there. Could be. I was way up on the bank. 
I was like right out there. I hate to break it to y'all, but we're going to have to call it. We got to go eat dinner. I got I got dinner plans. Got to go make that happen. Fletcher's about to go eat something too because we have not ate anything all day and the sun's about to go down. Besides a single cracker. <laughs> and we got eaten by gnats. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. I hate that we didn't get on any swim bait, swim bait fish today because that was the purpose of filming this video. But sometimes you have to adapt, change up to what the fish are doing for the day. And that's exactly what we showed in this video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.